Yeah, so if I just, I, I'm pretty simple when it comes to it. But I'll drink it like, I actually have some hazy IPA in, in, the, in, in the cooler right now. I like Melvin. Those guys mm-hmm. do a cool job, and so those guys are fun. And so um, I love Ska. Those guys, like, always been a big fan Durango, of anything. Durango so, crew? Yep, Durango crew, like anything those guys have done. So, yeah, a lot of there's been a lot of beer consumption in my life, so yeah. I mean, being out here from 91 onward, you were kind of, I like to think we're in one of those hotbeds, you know, of obviously of craft brewing. I don't know if we're necessarily the, you know, the world best or whatever. Totally. But the craft beer scene, you know, whether it be Fat Tire in New Belgium or, you know, 100%. whomever it may be, Sam Adams on the East Coast, yep. we are kind of one of those strongholds of craft beer. So you always like to get the, the perspective, and especially from someone in Boulder where, there's like everybody around you, like totally. you know, fucking Avery has like Avery, 78 yep. acres out yeah. there in a big ass party. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. So the scene's obviously been blowing up since you've yeah. been out here. So that's cool to see that you, you've gotten, you found some favorites that you like and yeah. you can put everybody on them. Um, before we go, this is our last question of the night. But for those that want to follow you on Instagram or try out one of your restaurants, let's give a quick plug. Let's remind everybody how they can. Which restaurants are yours, yeah, yeah. what they all kind of specialize in, and then your Instagram and your Sounds personal info. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I'll give them kind of an order of restaurants. So Oak at 14th is our first and our flagship restaurant in Boulder. So um, everything American cuisine from kale salads to roasted chickens, um, really great steaks. And that's, brand new rotisserie. Uh, brand new rotisserie. It looks, it's so good. It's amazing. Um, my birthday was the other day, and actually that's what I had for my birthday. Today. Happy 38. Like, Thank you. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, at Oak at 14th is our, is our handle there for Instagram. Um, then we have Brighter, which is Brighter Denver. So it's our rotisserie, uh, quick casual concept down here, right across from Denver Beer Company, down on down on. Um, I had your chicken Black eggs the Street. other day. I really enjoyed so, yeah, them. Yeah, those things are monstrous. They're like pterodactyl size. And they're like six dollars, and you get both the wing and the. Or you get yep. the flapper. You get flats so and like, drumstick for six bucks. You get twelve technical wings. You have to blow a goat nowadays to find a fifty <laughs> cent wing in Denver. I mean, you saw what fucking wing stops having to sell. I was, I was wondering why all those goats were down on Platt Street when I pulled down there the other day. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they were all happy. Not one of them had a frown on their face. No, they, they were jumping in the river. It was all good. Um, <laughs> Happier than a pig and shit. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, uh, um, Brighter Denver is our handle there. Um, then we have... Um, <laughs> I railroaded it. I do it yeah, all the time. Railroaded. Uh, Carita Boulder, so we're Spanish-inspired chop house. Um, everything from you know tapas to really great cuts of beef. Um, specializing in premier right, beef, yeah, by the way. Yeah, for premier beef, asking. ranch to table, kind of regenerative beef program that we're really working towards there. And then we have, um, you know, Acorn, former Acorn, now Bayota. So Bayota, Denver, you can catch us there. So beautiful taqueria, mezcaleria, tequilaria, Chef Manny running the helm here. Really stoked on where that's going. And then Melted, which is the ice cream shop. So Melted Be Cool. So soft serves, kind of a little bit of um, um, Asian twist to it. So we do a little Thai ice cream sandwiches, like a Thai street food. And then you can check out, if you're ever in Big Sky, Montana, Niseko Ramen. So that's Niseko Ramen in Big Sky, Montana. Warm bowls and um, and fresh cold days lines. on the mountains. Yeah, and yeah, fresh lines. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll add that to our marketing queue. That's and our so. marketing queue as well. <laughs> fresh, bowl, uh, fresh bowls and, uh, or wait, what was it? Warm bowls and fresh lines. There you go. And, um, <laughs> Damn it, we should have said that. When we were mountain town, we sure, yeah. That's a genius concept. Winter's coming. Yes. It's all good. You got this. <laughs> I and hate the summer. I'm sweating I know, like a so whore brutal. in church in the city right now. It's crazy. Oh, it's so brutal. And then um, my handle is um, Brian D Colorado. So yeah, Instagram. Yeah, dude. Awesome. So, I mean, thanks again for joining us. Um, thank you for not only you fed me more times than I can count, but for those that are listening and that they follow along on our social media, we're going to do a little tour to Brian. I'm not going to run like he does, but we're going to gallop and bip and bop around the metro area. So we're going to definitely come up and check out Oak and check out Karina. But also, you'll have seen our page on Bayota. You'll have seen it when I was recording this last week. Fantastic food, fantastic service. The team is excellent. Definitely try out one of their spots. And, I mean, I was banging those chicken wings the other day. So you all have seen me peppering it around all over the feed. you will go out there and give it a try. Great stuff top to bottom. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you say that now. This is the question. This is the hard-hitting question of the night. <laughs> Did you vote for Trump? No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> okay, so this is called, this is called the Last Supper. Um, the Last Supper is you get to invite three guests to join you at dinner. They can be dead or alive, but they cannot be friends or family. Okay. And you have to tell us what you're going to eat. I know it's a loaded question. That's why I always get you to give your ad first, so that if you walk out of here in disgust. <laughs> Who, from history, who would I like to have? have we get everything with, from you know? Prince to Genghis Khan, uh, Franklin to Da Vinci, Barrio to JFK. I mean, we get everybody. That's awesome. Except no one has said Trump yet. Everyone's pretty scared to be a conservative right now. Yeah, but it's I, funny because yeah, I don't think I would enjoy dinner with Trump. I mean, yeah, like he likes his food well done. Yeah, he smacks. He yeah. looks like he smacks. Yeah, it's it's not healthy. He's it's a not, real it's, prick. It's, it's not a. It's but not like a cool thing. we've gotten a wide array of answers, but the Donald J has not made the cut. I don't think he's going to. I wouldn't probably want to have dinner with him either. You know, honestly, I think like I'd really like to um, Pablo Picasso. I think would be Ooh, kind of a fun. That's a good one. Yeah, just like you know, following his life and his career, and I've always been a fan of what he's done. I think would be a a fun thing. So, and I think like the food would be pretty spot on with what I like to eat in general with him. And so, I think it'd be good. What is your I mean, because you do have a little bit of everything. Thai ice cream, a Hispanic restaurant, good old-fashioned Americana, and then a Spanish tapas, high-end meats, or, you know, premier meats. What is the vibe that you like the most? Like, which would you, you know, fuck, marry, kill, Spanish food, Italian food, Asian food? Yeah, I think I'm definitely more European-based. Me too! You want to go to Barcelona with me in October? hell yeah. Actually, I'm trying to plan a trip right there. might be November, but... Well, my, you, when are you going? Uh, we're going for Spanibus, the Cannabis of the Convention, okay. uh, October 8th, 9th, and 10th. I might can make that work. Come on. There's yeah. a bunch of folks from Colorado coming. My sponsor will be joining us. Yeah. It'll be a whole networking event. We're totally. going to do a cannabis-infused dinner the night before, oh, yeah. the turn, uh, uh, before the conference starts. I'll be sleeping. Yeah, you may. Do you, do you have a love, bad jet lag? <laughs> no, from the, eating all the candles. Oh, yes, yes. Well, that's understandable. You'll sleep like a rock that night in that, you know. No, one of my favorite Airbnb. cities in the world. Yeah. Really? Yeah, my one best friend lives there. He, he, he bartends at Hotel Arts, Diego Bod. Oh, really? So, yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, Fuck super yeah. cool. We're about to coordinate so, yeah. real hard. We're all going. Right. So, yeah, right. so, Picasso, I kind of, when I was a kid, you know, and, and I think, like, I'm really into history, and I think, like, it's funny you said Genghis Khan, because I've been, like, reading a book. Is that how you Khan. say it? Genghis Khan. God damn it, again! From, I don't know. I'm from Tennessee. I'm probably out. butchering it. Let's no, know. you're helping Mississippi, me. Mississippi, Tennessee. It's, we, we're not getting Same anything shit, right. different shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, different sayings. But I, I think it would be interesting. I was just a fan of Thomas Jefferson, but I don't know. The more that I read about Thomas these days, the more Turns that I'm kind of... he may have been a real piece of shit. Yeah, he might have been a real freaking asshole. So, I don't know, you know. <laughs> I kind of... a so, real piece of shit. Yeah, it sounds like that. So, I might probably retract that. I kind of would like to hang out with Bono, to be honest with you. I'm not like a crazy U2 fan, but I've always kind of liked what they do. But I think like Bono would be pretty interesting um, um, He's done a character. lot for the world He's as done a well, lot for the know? world, yeah. Like, he's been proactive and progressive in times when it maybe wasn't, you know, yeah. like raising awareness and funds for AIDS and 100%. putting that shitty album on everybody's <laughs> iPhone. Like he's done some revolutionary shit that he'll be remembered for forever. Totally. Those two things. In things. Fact. Yeah. Just those two. And, and those glasses. I need, some, I need some spice in there too, you know, and like, I don't know, man. I mean, Shakira? I was, I do. I was, I, 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 was, I, was, I was going Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I was like, hey, like, you know, like, hey. What happened? Yeah, so, yeah, what happened? Yeah, what did happen? Let's find out. Let's Jack, it's the curse of Jackie yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. <laughs> but see if she's truly happy or not. I don't know. It might be an interesting conversation. I don't know. I think it'd be cool to hang out with Perry Farrell, too. Jane's Addiction frontman. Yeah. So, that's he's a, good, a freaking freak. So. Well, you said four, so, so you can only have three. Oh. Genius Khan. No, no, no. Or Al. Or Pablo. Out. Pablo, Pablo and Picasso. Bono. Marilyn Monroe. Mar- Mar- okay. I'm going with it. Those are the That's hard three. And then what are we going to be munching on? I think we're going to either. Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably going to be munching on, I think, some salamis, some, you know, different olives we'll be starting out with. And I think some, like, antipastas. Some antipastas get rolling. I'd like to see some. You know, definitely some nice wines at the table, some some beers, and then, yeah, I don't know, maybe some sort of suckling pig or something. Yeah, get after it. I don't know. I mean, I, I thought you were gonna say like a Serrano ham for sure. You know, yeah. just that shave, like when it's almost like kind of tough and like it just disintegrates and melts on your mouth. Totally. I can't wait to get to fucking Spain. 
I, gotta, I can't wait to get there either. Let's go. That's funny. So I, yeah, because I'm actually, I think I'm supposed to be, yeah, I think I can make that work. It'd be super cool. Well, we're going to definitely start putting. Collaborating. The wheels are in motion for a totally. big collaboration. Shop Cali's, Stone de Petite, the Half Eaten Cookie Hospitality Group, the super collab that Europe didn't even see coming. Right. It's going to be totally. great. Oh, my God, yeah. And our yeah, friends at Lemon Tree over in California, they'll be joining too. So totally. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> but speaking of awesome, it was awesome to have you today. I really do appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule. I know you're running five, six different locations, sometimes remotely. So I do appreciate you cutting out an hour just to shoot the shit with me. I really appreciate it. Totally. No, I appreciate the time. It means a lot. It's great. It's great to see you again. It's great to be back around people. I know, right? Thank you. No it's, mask. It's great. It's awesome. We're, we're Okay, you. so let's open mouth kiss and then let's go catch your bus. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Deal. Well, until next week, we say stay hungry, stay thirsty. Cheers. Cheers.